It's an alarming health crisis, the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S., diabetes. There's 29.1 million di diabetics in America, which is a huge population. One in four of those diabetics will develop an ulcer in their lifetime. Difficult to treat, the foot ulcers can lead to amputations, more than 73,000 every year in the U.S. This is the typical total contact cast that a diabetic patient would have. Several Vanderbilt engineering students designed a device that might help heal foot sores. It's called Lumicil, a low-light device that takes the traditional treatment one step further. Our device sits on the very top of the cast, then the fiber optics go inside the cast, and the halo is on the inside. So the wound would be at the bottom of the foot and the halo would be facing upwards with the light emitting upwards towards the wound. Therapy with infrared and blue LED lights is often used to speed up healing. Right now, for diabetic foot ulcers, there's nothing like this. The students have a provisional patent for their low-cost device and have clearance to test it on Vanderbilt patients. We have a very good chance of making a, a large impact in diabetes complications care. Another major medical problem, broken hips in the elderly. There's such a high morbidity and mortality rate in elderly people who have hip fractures. A possible solution, an oblong pad of foam and gel designed by this team of students. You wrap it around and it'll stay in place because it's going to be over your underwear but under your clothes so no one can see it. The low-cost pad could help protect a hip in a fall. Our product was around 10 times more effective than the products that are currently on market right now. The hip check team has a provisional patent for their device. And then there's the steady scan, a completely unconventional approach to MRI scans. It basically shrink wraps your arm or hand. The standard of care now is just using a couple haphazardly sized cushions to prevent as much movement as possible. About 30 million MRI scans are done each year in the U.S. And many times they must be repeated because a patient moves, adding to health care costs. What we do is we use something totally different. We take actually polyolefin, which is a material that shrinks when it's in contact with heat from like a blow dryer, and it shrinks all around your hand. It works for the forearm, it works for the wrist, and it could work for the hand. From shrink wrap and MRIs to helping heal diabetic foot ulcers, Vanderbilt engineering students work to find solutions for some of our major healthcare problems. For ViewCast Extra, I'm Barb Kramer.